With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, it is given that one of the diagonal of a rhombus is equal to one of its side. So, we have to find the angle of the rhombus. So, first, let's construct a rhombus. So, this is a rhombus. So, in this, it is given that it's one of its diagonal. For example, let this diagonal be equal to its side. So, this line and this line are equal. So, when we draw the other diagonal, that is like this. So, it will cut this diagonal at the middle. So, this part is equal to this part. So, we can say that this is half of this. So, for example, if this is A, then this is 2A. And we have to find this angle theta. So, if we find sine of theta, that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Here perpendicular is A and hypotenuse is 2A. A and A will be cut, we are left with 1 by 2 and we know that sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2. So we can say that the value of theta is 30 degree. So now since the value of theta is 30 degree, the value of this complete angle will be 60 degree. And since this line and this line is parallel, so this angle plus this angle should be 180. So let this angle be alpha. So alpha plus 60 degree is equal to 180 degree. So alpha would be equal to 120 degree. So the angles of the rhombus are 60 degree and 120 degree. Since this is 60 degree, this will also be 60 degree. This is 120 degree, 120 degree. This will also be 120 degree. So these are the angles of the rhombus. That is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.